What is going on, Cog Squad? Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm, and there's four things that's gotta happen today. We gotta figure out how to get a trench dug for plumbing and power to here at the barn and to the cow house and to greenhouse number one and to greenhouse number two. But y'all, my only concern is, is our soil, our ground is hard as a rock. So I'm hoping we can actually get this done. Fingers crossed, both hands crossed. Oh yeah, by the way, we still haven't caught Miss Lewis up off her eggs yet. All right, let's look and see if Miss Lewis is still, nope. She's still here, y'all, right there. So we're unable to check her eggs and I do not want to get cattle panels until she moves. We're just gonna keep checking until we catch her off the nest. And then we'll see how many eggs she's got and grab those cattle panels real quick. So we don't know how many eggs she's got and I don't want to mess with my cattle panels. But we do got to get plumbing and electricity to both greenhouses, to the barn, and to the cow house, which we haven't named yet. Y'all wish us luck because I'm a little worried about this ground, even though I'm not doing it by hand. <laughs> even though we're reining a trencher, that doesn't mean this is gonna go easily. When we built our house, the plumber rented a trencher and the electricians rented a trencher and both of them struggled in our hard ground. Uh, so I am a little worried about it if we're gonna run into the same situation. I hope not, but I'm just a little worried about it, to be honest with you. Whew. Plus, who else knows what's gonna pop up? It's early in the morning. You never know what may happen here on the farm. I do got a motley crew that does live here. <laughs> Good morning, boys. Wait a minute now. Oh, goodness. Hey, Tommy. Good morning, fellas. Good morning, fellas. Y'all are starting. Y'all, they're really getting hard to tell apart now. Can't y'all see? Look at that. They are really, really getting hard to tell apart. Rocky's on the right, Bandit's on the left. But they are just growing like a weed. Ain't you, buddy? Yeah. All right, I gotta go finish up chores and we gotta run and go get a trencher. Got some trenching to be done, buddy. Oh, Peaches, somebody shut your door, didn't they, girl? She's over there waiting, ain't she, Mo? Let's get her door open. Good morning, everybody. Capri still hasn't had her babies yet, has she? Fifi, all right, Peachy. I'm sorry I was over there looking, making sure Capri hadn't had her babies yet. You're gonna be an aunt soon, ain't you? Hmm? Yeah. Let's see here. Let's get your bowl. Peaches is still doing well with her training. All right, let's see if we can get everybody taken care of here this morning. Here's Jesse's bowl. Guys, guess what? We gotta do some trenching today. Yep, trying to get some water to the barn. You guys need water, obviously. And we're gonna get water and power to the greenhouses, both greenhouses. Jessie's already over there on yonder. Waiting in her stall. Peach just came out of her stall. She probably mad at me. I'm coming, Peach. Can't go fast enough, can I, Mo? No. I'm coming though. There you go, girl. All right, Jesse, you can't come in here, girl. This is Peaches. You gotta go on the other side. Jesse done got tired of waiting on me too. I'm going as fast as I can, y'all. Yeah. Come on, Jesse. Let's go, Jesse. Look out, Jesse. All right, baby girl. There you go.
All right, you guys. There are the four goslings. Look how big they are. Isn't that unreal? But let me show y'all something else that's unreal. All right, y'all see Pringles is up. She finally got up off her nest because she had that one little baby. But y'all look. Y'all can see here real quick. Pringles has two babies. Pringles. I know she's super happy. Nugget, you better leave him alone now. Yeah, I know you the sheriff, but uh, you might mess around and get, get in some major trouble with them babies now. You know what? I'm just telling you. You know, you do what you want to, but if you're missing the toe tomorrow, I'll understand why. Those mamas don't play around with their babies, Nugget. I'm just telling you. Good morning, big boy. How are you doing this morning? We gotta get some more fly spray on you. Been two days, ain't it? We gonna get you fixed up here, though. Yo, I turned that fence off, and I still check it before I <laughs> set my set the bucket over there every time. Come on, boys. Every time, don't I top her? I just double check it. I guess that's a good habit to have, ain't it? Better to double check it and not check it at all, ain't it? Hey, buddy, you know, we're going to be one step closer to getting y'all moved over to the new area today. Yeah, we're going to transfer water over there at the barn. And you're getting your own water spigot. Yeah, I'm going to put your own water spigot over there. I know. How awesome is that? That is going to be awesome. All right, big man. You're done. You don't want to eat this. Cheese and mac. I should have said mac and cheese. That's probably the proper way to say that, ain't it, guys? I'm sorry. What's going on, y'all? Emma Jean, Lucille, Piper. Got the whole crew out here this morning, don't we? What's our feed look like? Gotta get you guys filled up there, don't we? Yeah. Y'all can see all the new ones are doing well. They really are. Here are the Easter eggers. I mean, they're pretty much fully mature chickens. Uh, I'm thinking we'll be seeing eggs from these guys in the next couple weeks. All right, y'all. I like to move their feeder around. So it's not always in the same spot. And I do that because that way they can clean up where that feeder is. See, they're cleaning it up now. That's just something I like to do. We have zero chance of rain. So I'm going to leave your feeder out here. I think it's going to rain. I move it under the bus. So since I'm leaving it out, it means it's going to rain, which is fine with me because we need it. I'm not going to complain. All right, cheese. Let's get your pool cleaned out. I had someone recently ask how the chickens were enjoying the cups. And, and this is working out perfect. I mean, it is working out really, 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 really good. No issues at all. I mean, we don't even have a water in here anymore. The only water in the system we have now it's strictly this and of course cheese's pool that he still hadn't gotten in or that, that we know of we haven't seen him get in it yet maybe one day maybe between him and the peacocks we got some very elusive things here on the farm it's like we got the loch ness monster and bigfoot both living here so i do think cheese is getting in the pool we just haven't seen him yet He's a goose. He's got to be getting in the pool. Ain't that right, Cheese? Hey, buddy, it may get, it may get loud over here today. I'm going to be trenching over here. I'm going to get power and water to the greenhouse, hopefully soon. 
but don't let that disturb your pool dipping. Okay? You gonna get in it? You just gonna drink? Okay. That's fine. If you don't want to see us in your bathing suit, I completely understand. I get it, buddy. Okay? Uh-oh. I get it. It's okay. What you ladies gossiping about in here this morning? That's old Phyllis Diller. Hey, girl. How you doing? Let's check on the beautiful silkies. Hey, guys. Oh, man, aren't they beautiful? Sorry, we got an upset hen in here. Somebody probably sitting in her nesting hole. Hey, girl. It's okay. There's plenty more. I guess it's kind of like us guys having our own personal recliner. You know, somebody sits in our chair. You know, they got to get up. I kind of know how she feels, I reckon. All right, y'all. So we got pretty much all the chores done this morning. So let's go load up and go grab this trencher so we can get this big day done. This is going to be a big day for us. Really bigger day once the water gets installed, but this has got to be done first. And look at the sunflowers. Aren't they gorgeous? Not only are the sunflowers gorgeous, but look at the super B facilia right there. In with the sunflowers. Just beautiful this morning. So Peach just figured how to get herself out. Yeah. I just opened the door. When I came in here, she yeah. was already out, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's smart girl. Very smart. Jessie hadn't figured out how to get out there. No, Jessie was just taking her a dust bath too. I missed it. I was going to try to get on camera. Well, a few minutes ago, O'Peep and Mo were standing on the picnic table, and Jessie was standing beside them, watching them. Uh huh. And I was waiting and ready to video when Jessie got on the table. <laughs> but it didn't she's happen. In, she's in training. Jessie, get on that picnic table, girl. We're going to teach you some more tricks. We might do better doing peaches. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Peaches seems to be the trickster. What you doing, Jesse? Hey, Jesse. <clears throat> you ready to do some trenching today? I am. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot, but that's okay. We can handle it. We Alabamians, we're used to it. That's right. <laughs> that's what we now, think. now, if it was, if it was gonna be thirty degrees today, that'd be a different story. I'd be in there. <laughs> I'd be a big fire. Wouldn't we wouldn't be bootsy. We wouldn't be trenching with it. You okay, girl? Oh my she's, gracious. She's thinking about that trenching makes her mad. Oh my, oh gonna <laughs> speaking of trenching. Here comes Mildred. Come here, mama. Oh big girl. Let's see if she won't do her skipping. Come on, Mildred. Come on, baby. <laughs> no skipping. She says it's too hot to skip, but look over there. Somebody's showing out for sure. Did y'all just see that? That was too peahens with Scott. So we don't know if that's Ozella or Miss Lewis. So I'm fixing to go down there and look at the eggs and see what we got. She uh she may be up so we can count those eggs. Or it could be Ozella. But I'm thinking it's Miss Lewis. I kind of wonder if we can actually see her nest without her being on it. And if that wasn't Miss Lewis and that's Ozella. We have no idea where Ozella's nest is. That's Ozella. It's not Miss Lewis. Miss Lewis is still down here on her eggs. I just knew it was Miss Lewis. Well, it's a 50-50 chance. So he struck out. Now... Now let's go get the trencher. <laughs> All right, 
so we just got it hooked up and ready to roll to the farm. Hope it all works out. Hope. <laughs> all right, so we just got home with the trencher. And uh, before I get started, I think I'm gonna have to go and put my sun hat on because uh, it's gonna get a little warm today. This is, this is much better. <laughs> Ain't that right, Bram Brown? Oh, oh, come here, buddy. Bramble would like to tell y'all hello and that he's pretty confident that we're gonna get these trenches dug, ain't you, buddy? Paul's crossed, right? I definitely don't like these guys plan on helping, though. Hmm, I might have to have a talk with Peaches. You ready? You ready? You ready to do it? All right, let's go. Wish us luck. I don't know how far that is. I'm guessing about 200 foot is what I'm guessing. My plan is to get to that first pole right yonder on the barn because that's where we're going to put a spigot. We're going to put our spigots on each corner of the barn on the poles. So that's our plan to do it there. Plus that'll be on the outside of the fence because we don't want to put the spigots in there with the goats or whoever because you know how rough those characters are around here. Are you okay, girl? We got a rough bunch of hoodlums that live over here now. day i'm not gonna lie got all the trenching done it ended up being about 800 foot worth of trenching i didn't think it was gonna be that much but that's what it ended up being and it is whew, it has been a day i'm probably gonna be shaking in my in my sleep tonight <laughs> oh me and i'm not gonna lie the trenching part was pretty rough and well most of it was pretty rough the ground's just so hard no rain uh when i first got started i thought this isn't gonna work the trench is this this trench is not gonna work we're gonna have to have something bigger it can't handle it can't handle the ground and i'm not even hitting any rocks and it's just so dry no rain out here and this ground's so hard that um it's just struggling so bad right here i haven't hit any rocks and it just stopped it just absolutely stopped. And our ground is really, 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 really hard. I mean, it's it's hard, y'all. I just ended up just slowing way, 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 way down to a crawl. And uh, I got it to the depth that I need. Now, here, I know some of y'all may be wondering, but here where we're at, we did get it. Also, I just laid my last piece of pipe out. While I was trenching, Brooke ran and got all the pipe we needed. And I've been laying it out because I sent the plumber a text thinking he probably won't be here the next week. And guess what he just said? I will be there tomorrow. And I was like, oh, Brooke, we need to get this pipe. So she went ahead and grabbed the pipe. I got it laid out by all the ditches. Uh, I need to go grab the faucets and get them laid out so he'll know where to put the, uh, the no-freeze or the no-frost faucets for everybody. But y'all, what a day we have had today. I am whipped. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I am whipped.
Look it. Hey, buddy. Got all the trenching done today. So that means we can get the water lines put over there in the barn and the new pasture area. And guess what? You know what that means? You Do you know what that means? That can only mean one thing for you, ain't it, brother? You get to have flash dance. At the new barn and pasture. Gotta take care of the sheriff. Ain't that right, buddy? Hey, tell him. Y'all be good. 